I'm Isaac. When I was nine, I had a type of cancer called acute lymphoblastic leukaemia. That's cancer that affects the blood and bone marrow. I'm still having treatment, but I'm getting better. Cancer is something that lots of people find frightening and don't really know much about. So we're here to help you understand a bit more about childhood cancer. <laughs> Helping us is Dr Owen. Hi Dr Owen. Hello. He's a scientist and he's an expert on childhood cancer and how to treat it. So, first of all, what exactly is cancer? Your body is made up of millions of cells that do different jobs like being part of your eye, making up your brain or just being part of your toe. Cancer happens when these cells grow and multiply in an uncontrolled way that's caused by gene changes. Genes are a very clever piece of code that tells your body whether a cell needs to be part of a toe or your nose. When this code goes wrong, your body creates far too many cells. Any type of cell may be affected anywhere in the body and there are as many types of cancer as there are organs and tissues within our bodies. Cancers affecting children are different from cancers affecting adults. They look different under a microscope and they need to be treated differently. The treatments used for cancer in children depend on the type of cancer and how advanced it is. Some people might need surgery and the most common treatment is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is a special type of medicine that attacks the cancer cells. It is very powerful so it can make you feel really ill. Treatment can take up to three years. When I had cancer I had to have five rounds of treatment. Some children need to have a stem cell transplant. This is when the blood cells from bone marrow is used to attack cancer cells or replace blood cells that have been damaged by chemotherapy. And some children need to have radiotherapy to kill rapidly growing cancer cells. This is when a high energy ray is used to zap cancer cells in one part of the body. Children respond better to cancer treatment than adults, but some types of treatment are very dangerous for children because they can affect how the child's body grows and develops. The good news is that in the UK, four out of five children are cured of their cancers these days. Children with Cancer UK is a charity that's leading the fight against childhood cancer by raising money to invest in specialist childhood cancer research. They help scientists like me by funding research into what causes cancer, how we can prevent cancer, how we can cure cancer and how to make treatments better. They also help young cancer patients and their families by helping to fund the building of free patient and family homes near hospitals around the UK. And they also give children with cancer and their families unforgettable days out, creating memories that can never be lost. Thank you, Mr Owen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Dr. Dr. Owen. That's a pleasure.